All right, and I'll continue to part six of this playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. We'll continue on where we left off in part five, and let's see how this goes. I think we're now currently, what, trying to find, I think, Minerva. Everything's getting locked down in this facility, so let's continue on and see how this goes. By the way, you want to know why? Why, I'll tell you. Yeah, let me know. Oh, my bad. There's no game audio, and that is, that is my fault. <laughs> Oops, 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 oops. Alright, that should be. Alright, cool, cool. I mean, I'm not gonna need to shoot anything now, but. I went through the vents and those things are locked, right? This is all dead ends. I gotta sneeze, oh shit. Oh, I have to go up. Oh, okay, makes sense. Not because I see I was. It was the same guy I talked to you about in the message a whole while ago. I asked. Oh, the girl that was just stalling up. That's nah, tough. Door needs a code. Not much I can do about it right now. Door need. But I should keep an eye out for any data in the facility that can help. Yeah. Well, I guess I should go back. Yeah, okay. she says that we have to go back. The issue is, it's like, where? Oh, it's that girl? I'll tell us that. Okay, well, it makes sense why you're talking about it like that now. Oh, up here. Okay, I'm just blind, huh? I'm outside. Nah, screw me, Nova. And I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. Oh, I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Oh yeah, because they they got a back of a Gaia too. I forgot that they got Gaia as well. Where's Silence then? I might be able to glide to that ledge. What ledge? This one, yeah? These rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Bro, what? Oh, I'm just gonna pry it open. Alright. <coughs> Aha. Another shaft. 
What is it? She legit blocked my ass from back in March 2021. Wanted to follow me again in June. I accepted her again. Ever since I started uploading gym selfies, she replied five to six of them. What did she say? She hitting on those pictures or what? She like hitting on you with them or what? This time I'll be lurking. I gotta finish my essay. No worries, bro. No worries. Get that essay done, Jose. <coughs> okay. Now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Oh, what the hell? Will these robotic people come here too? Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? <coughs> you were part of something bigger once. Something good. She can live again, but only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. So she has like a mole face. Does it? This speaks. Fucking back like this? Damn. These these like systems have emotions and everything. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobrek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Why well, is weird how all these systems have like emotions and like have like feelings and stuff like that? That's crazy. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. Gaia? Are we actually restoring her? Through her memories? So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations. And you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? Oh, she knows. They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... That is true. They all have like their own beliefs and stuff of that nature. <coughs> Cause they believe she believes in the robots. He believed in the goddess, so they don't know. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borrow? So this is Gaia. Hello. <coughs> Hi. Hi. Guy is still, uh, waking up. Let's look 
around? I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Oh. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Oh. I actually asked her out again, but the Roma and suddenly signs of stalling, so when I, you know, you know what, drink us from my, yeah, I, yeah, she's toxic. She's cute, but she's talking to shit, and honestly, I don't feel like dealing with that no more. That is weird, though. How she hits you up, splurts with you, but then stalls when you ask her out. Do you even ask her on a date? I suggest you explore this facility area. Until my initial engagement with the <coughs> What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Well, that goes to soup, by the way. Nice. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. I could create. Oh, I could go in here and create machines. Oh, what the hell? That's crazy. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility <coughs> was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. So did you hear what I answered to that? Your previous two statements of this or no? This would have been an access point for advanced <coughs> training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Damn, Apollo. Wow, well, you had to get fucked up. What are these showers? What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. Yeah, it does look like that one, that fucking test that we all did. Hey Gaia, why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level. I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. Oh. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? <coughs> he... sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Through that door is a trail that leads towards Plainsong. So I could head back east if I need to, once we're done here. Correct. Oh, wow. So just a straight path to fucking out there. Interesting. 
Uh, let's go back, talk back to Gaia. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. I just hope those robotic people don't come right away, huh? Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. <coughs> so you <coughs> ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Hmm. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. <coughs> Transmitting query pattern. Oh, whoa. Receiving. and Aruthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Uh, I'm just focused on the gym and getting the job soon. That's good. And you Hephaestus? Know, pee, you know? It too stands revealed, but it is not like no, the Hephaestus others. Corrupt mother. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. <coughs> Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to oh, subdue. Oh, so she could subdue them? Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are well, essential. So we knew we need. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. We need solution. Hephaestus. So we need him to stop being the... So we start there? Unfortunately, we need him we to stop cannot. being the bitch. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Oh, so we gotta enhance her. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it is served. <coughs> then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility and then store it in there and then she gains the access to it okay the cartridge your root kernel was stored on yes its capacity is limited so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time but in all other respects it will suffice i wonder when science is gonna get involved i'm a fuck i know that dude's gonna get involved somehow that man's He's gonna track her down again, even after he destroyed her. Fo the f other focus he was able to track. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill the, me. The robotic people. They had machine servitors and a um, uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your. Oh, focus. she has it. But does she destroy that focus? <coughs> Do you know Wait, who so the focus are? attached to a brain? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, oh. prompting my predecessor's self destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. Oh. What the fuck? The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. The moon? No, 
not the moon. Well, why I say the moon? So vast. Why am I stupid? Why I say the moon? Hey yo, how far in the universe are we talking about this signal came from? Okay, so what's so far away, and and why does it want us dead? The Sirius Star System. Sirius. But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew Wait. up. Why make it seem they like they did they make failed? it? They did win out. So the ship survived. They didn't want anyone to know. Oh, the ship survived. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. <clears throat> the strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving they're Lab. The... the ones with the clone. Are you saying that they're from? That they're descendants? Oh, of... yo! What the fuck? Far Dude, this game is so good. Yes. That is my conclusion. That's crazy. So those humans are people that were from a thousand years ago. Just re oh. so that ships are. Oh, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> that is crazy. So that ship never blew up. It survived. They went on the trail because it's been over a thousand years since that ship was sent out. So they have way better tech. So what happened and what part you're at we're going toward the west we finally got this Gaia back up but we're finding out because we got attacked earlier by some like really futuristic tech people we're just realizing now that they are from the people that were before this planet went to shit the first time they escaped in the ship and they actually survived and they faked it that it blew up and it never lived and now they're coming back pretty much to blow this world up, I guess. I don't know. Or they just to let this world die out. So they just, they could continue human, the human race in a different, in a different universe, I guess, at this point, right? Because it said it was a distance of 8,000 years, but I don't think it's that far out. Yeah, this is all new to me right now, Chris. Like, to understand 1 and 2, it's like, it's crazy. Oh, man. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have yeah, become you have to read up obvious. on the story, Chris. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents. So we need Hephaestus is going to be a crucial part to all of this. Has accumulated. All efforts must be directed to get Hephaestus yeah so we have to get Poseidon okay because Apollo and all of them are gone how long do we have then <coughs> at present rates without additional <coughs> factors the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four oh, months oh shit we got four months to save the world and if I gather ether Demeter Poseidon merge you with them we will only gain a few months more well every bit counts oh wow so she gets more months from that but then i don't know was that was that be teasing the three of this game who knows i mean we're still way beyond trying to beat this game so who knows how this is gonna all go out 
Damn, she has so many questions. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. Yeah, True. Chris, yeah. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out Three days. And then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. So now we have to fight the high tech people that... Well, this Jesus. is not good. We're gonna need some of their tech to fight them off, huh? You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Jeez. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? <coughs> the spacecraft, much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. Okay. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of oh, light. Wow. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. Yeah, Chris, over 20. You're making my head spin. Uh, like over 10, 12. Jesus. So. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proven Lab, they. They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone <coughs> of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. Damn. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? Yeah, I realized that. I gotta fix it's, that, Chris. It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. I'll fix, I'll fix it for the next one. I forgot that I turn on the comments on that, Chris. I'll fix it on the next video. Because I'm uploading the next part tomorrow of this game, which would be part three. I might do two a day, but I think I think I'm gonna just stick to one a day for now. Maybe we'll see. Depending how fast I beat this game. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades; it made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, <coughs> Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the descendants came to Earth on a spaceship... I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful Damn, in all we'll sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. 
The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. Oh, that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Oh, Hades noticed it. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Yeah, Chris, I've had already plenty of boss fights. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do I've we got a couple about already. All three are relevant to no, they're good, they're good fights. Tedious, I'm sphere. annoying, but not in a good way. Is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. It's a lot of strategy. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Ooh, so we're gonna go into those water missions. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. <clears throat> if all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Yeah, because then all these things... Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Okay, okay. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of Where human she came beings. From, right? Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived I'm Apollo good, Chris. Have a good night. You can keep up with this series on my YouTube channel when it watch. By order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy understandable he appears to have been pathologically narcissistic impulsive and unstable all three of the missing functions have already served their purpose or were prevented from doing so do you still need them if attainable yes Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Damn. Okay, now we know about Festus. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Yeah, she wants to know why, because why? he's trying to fuck everything Every up. Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Okay, so Hephaestus is this crucial. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. She needs to be stronger. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth 
18.8% of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than oh, the other okay. way around. Yeah, that would be really bad. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. So and how many subordinate functions is that going to take? That she needs. Split. Merging yeah, Ether, and Demeter, Poseidon. and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity. Over 50, right? Exceeding that of the Hephaestus. Hephaestus is by like 50% since the other ones are missing. Makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions, which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find okay. a solution. So the stronger she gets, you'll find more answers. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program <coughs> their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? I don't know if guy will do that, though. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on can... Earth, human life above all. She would do it. So okay. yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design build and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only oh, option. So I, I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology yeah, to say. kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. Should be a passive. She's That's like good. A... It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Yeah. We, we didn't we not answer Senate question or are we done here? Oh. So if the descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes, as your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them didn't from we not harm. Do with this? Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed in throughout history. Every oh, no, defense yeah, we, assuming it's always. Yeah, we did that. Why did it show that I didn't do it already? All right. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore, might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanat territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus. Uh, so you're not there they seem to have a significant inclination violence, towards yeah. violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. Desert. Interesting. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Ether, somewhere in Tanakh's so territory. Ether be the first one. Poseidon, Poseidon in the Poseidon desert, the and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Yeah, I was gonna say, Ether would probably be the easiest one to do, right? Yeah, level 17, yeah. I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Okay. 
Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. So yeah, obviously Hephaestus Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. Yeah, she's got a lot on her hands. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. What is a speech? Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Give Live up to her example? Speech. Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you. She gave her the Itachi speech I expected. But... Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. That's crazy. What is this? Gaia? What is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them, use it to reconnect them, and restore the display. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me. They got the last exit. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I guess a glitch. Uh, I, I don't know. That's uh, that's quite a new one to me, to be honest with you. If someone could clip that, that would be great. I'd like to put that up on uh, up on Twitter to see, cause that was quite a. Uh, Quite interesting to say the least. That's uh wow. What the hell just happened? Just ran down, there was no staircase and it went straight to fucking Fuck knows where. This is that office. No good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. Did I go through all these rooms already? Yeah, that's a toilet, but too bad you can't use it. We went in here already. We explored the base, did we not? I mean, I don't need to do more exploring. This is optional, but I think we did everything we needed to do. After you, Aloy. <clears throat> she 
took off her headpiece. What is she gonna like wander with him now? Oh, snow. I need to head further west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends. They taught help. you speech. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Yes. There you go. Get your allies. Okay. Hey, Loy. Take these then. One to wear. One for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. Yeah, he is. I bet he is. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Probably gotta get a quick fuck, and then he's like, I'm out, you know? He'll be back, type shit. The Tanakh clanlands. Let's go. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. 11,000 XP. And who knows what else. Alright, I think we'll call this one a bit shorter, and then part 6 here, I'll probably do, like I said, a lot of these side quests I'm going to do probably off, uh, off recording, so off of parts, like I've done previously, I've added some side missions to them, but I don't know if you guys would be interested in watching every side mission, because every episode would be two, 2 hours plus, I mean, I, I plan on platinum this game. Because I do really like this game. Man, I like the first one a lot. Even though it's hard for me to remember certain things at times. Because I did beat part one in 2017. When I played it. I played it in 2017. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to do some side quests now. To just get a little be higher level. So then I can also have more uh, skill points. To get better. have Be better equipped for these missions. Because obviously you saw the missions... To get right now it's gonna be 17 to get the first part second part was 22 and then the third was 24 so there's a long ways away so like you get all these side quests obviously get extra story off of this too because obviously it gives me a lot of story and stuff and then it should be good too if you guys want to see more side quests you guys can let me know in the comments if you guys decide to do the comment below and I'll really appreciate it. Right now, I'm going to do some side quests that are probably not that important into the story. Or, or maybe are. And if they are, I'll probably keep record. I'll add those into the recording. But for the meantime, I'll probably just keep main story missions. But appreciate what you watching part 6. This is, just, this is part 6, right? Yeah. Just to keep seg uh, in segments. Because it's a lot going to be a lot of parts. But it's good we finally woke up. Gaia, which I didn't expect it would be this or, or this part, but it's making more sense now. So let's see how it goes. Appreciate it. If you guys like, if you're new, like and subscribe. Appreciate it. And if you're just you know, regular, then I'll appreciate a like. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for part seven. Thank you. Do, 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 do.